hello everyone i hope everything is great so in last video we learn how to create the tables how to create the rows and how to create the columns also we are discussing the borders of table and also we discuss the border collapse property so if you did not watch my earlier video that is part 1 on the tables then don't worry you can check it from the description section and i have add the link in the description so today we will discuss the table size how we can resize the table how we can resize the specific row how we can resize the specific colon so without wasting time let's start so our today's topic is table size so for resizing the tables we use two properties first is the width and second is the height we can resize a table by use the css so basically we are using the inline css here and if you are not aware about the css how how you can add the css in the html then also you can check in the description section i have add the link for this as well so let's add the inline css on this table so what i did i just take this table as the earlier video reference and just for save the time i have copied this table structure and create a new heading here table size and here i paste the copied table so this is our basic structure if i am go to browser and refresh this i see this to hum yah dekhte hain okay so now i apply the inline css by using the style property and give the width of this to 500 pixel save this go to browser refresh and you can see the table is resized up to 500 pixel let's give the height as well let me give 400 pixel save this go to browser refresh you can see now my table is with the height of 400 pixel so by use of this inline css you can resize the table in your content area of the browser next point we discuss let's only a single colon if we want to resize a specific colon then how can we do that let's discuss that table colon i uh, just paste the basic structure of table go to browser refresh and this base structure is added here let's now resize the first colon of this table which is username so what i did i add the style property on first colon and width property and i give the 200 pixel here save this go to browser refresh and you can see the first colon width is 200 pixel now okay by the same way you can change the width of any colon save this go to browser 
and refresh so now these two columns have the 200 pixel width right so now there is one trick what is that currently we apply the width on the heading tag th tag we apply the width 200 pixel now what i did i go to the second row and in the table data tag we add the style tag with width and give the 200 pixel save this go to browser refresh nothing will be happen in the browser okay let me go to again give the change this width to 100 pixel save go to browser refresh and nothing will be affected yet now what i did i gave the width to 250 pixel more than this okay let me save this go to browser refresh and now you can see the first colon width is now 250 pixel not the 200 pixel okay now let uh, let me go to this section and what i did i changed the 300 pixel save this go to browser refresh and it's increased up to 300 pixels so what is our observation let me add one span tag so what is our observation if in a table if a single colon width is defined multiple times then the bigger width will be affected for that colon so we can say biggest width value take precedence let me go to this and we if we can copy this from here see paste here and here i give the 300 pixel what happens now this first colon width is 300 pixel not the 200 and 250 pixel it's now the 300 pixel so we can say the width will take always the uh, biggest value if we define this in the multiple colon okay so you can you know i think that this complete area is called the first colon this is the second colon and this is the third colon this complete we call the row and this particular specific section we call the table set okay now so this way we can uh, manage the width of a specific colon now let's change the row height table rows height i need to copy again the basic structure because i copy different thing okay and what i did i just paste it here save this go to browser refresh and this is our base structure now what i did i simply add the height in the style property and give the height 50 pixel now i think you can guess what happens we apply height for the first row so this first row will be now 50 percent pixel height go to browser refresh and you can see we have 50 pixel height for the first entire row we can do this for any row height 50 pixel 
save go to browser refresh and you can see first and the second uh, sorry the last row now have the 50 pixel height we can set this height by one another way if we apply height for any of the colon in a row so this row does not have the height still what i did i add the i add the style property here height 50 pixel you see i give second colon or we can say second cell height 50 pixel so the first colon and the second colon is auto adjusted and this will take the 50 pixel height for the entire row now if i save this go to browser refresh you can see the second row completely have 50 pixel height now there is again that scenario that we discuss for the width we can apply this style for these columns as well let me give you example so what i did here and here here i give the i maybe 70 percent and here i give the 60 pixel okay so now oh, what will happen the same rule as we discuss in the width same rule uh, applied here the biggest value which is the 70 pixel it does not matter it uh, how it defined it's uh, the total uh, maximum height is the 70 pixel so this entire row will take the 70 pixel height let me go to browser refresh this now you can see the 70 pixel height is for the second row is set so by this way you can set the tables height and by using the width of the colon you can adjust the colon widths now there is one more case that we need to discuss let's move to the this table which is shown in browser this way so for this table what we did we did width we give width uh, 500 pixel and height 400 pixel now what i did if i add the style here and give the width property 200 pixel copy this style and paste in both the colons so now what is the case first colon have the 200 pixel second and third also have the 200 pixel so total width is 600 pixel but we define the width 500 pixel for the overall table so what will happen so in this case how browser calculates the width it automatically adjust these widths and try to adjust these colon only in the 500 pixel accordingly it sets uh, these widths and reduce from 200 pixel to less but it does not increase the overall table width let me save this go to browser and refresh so you can uh, check that the overall width of table is not affected only these uh, colon widths are auto adjusted you can see the overall width is the same but the colon widths are equally divided into 500 pixel as we give the same width for all these now what i did I give this to 100 pixel save this go to browser and refresh you can see phone number field now have the uh, 100 pixel and other two are equally divided into 200 pixel now there is another case what happens if I give the width less than the overall width in that case there is not a space on the right or left side it automatically adjust it first take the 500 pixel which is the minimum it set this width both these columns have the same width so remaining 
450 pixel will be divided between the username and the email let me save this go to browser and refresh you can see phone number is having now the 50 pixel and remaining width will be divided into these two columns but the overall table size is 500 pixel that is not reduced or not increased according to these same behavior will be follow for the height category so overall table height is not uh, increased or reduced from the table height it automatically adjusted in this form let me also give you an example what i did i removed the table width from here save this now this colon have 200 pixel this have 200 pixel this is 50 pixel so uh, earlier this is the 500 pixel now 450 so the overall width is less let me go to browser and refresh this you can see the overall width is reduced if i change it to 200 pixel now it's more than 500 why because we are not defined the overall table width so that's why it reflected accordingly and if we give the width here then it auto adjust according to the 500 pixel this way so that's all about the table size we can resize the table by using of these css properties width and height for this video that's all in next video we check we discuss little more table properties so be with me together we will learn the complete properties of table for this video that's it thanks and bye bye